In this video, let's see the next numerical problem based on LMV. The question says using Lagrange's means value theorem, find a point on the curve y is equal to under root x minus 2, define on the interval 2 comma 3 where the tangent is parallel to the chord joining endpoints of the curve. Now, the last line or the second line of the question is very important. It says where the tangent is parallel to the chord joining the endpoints of the curve. That means it is talking about the geometrical interpretation of LMV which we have already studied. So the question doesn't become difficult for us. It is same as the previous problem. Let's start with the solution. Writing solution, we start with it. Given to me is y and y can be written as fx and that is nothing but equal to x minus 2 raised to the power 1 by 2. And the interval defined is nothing but closed 2 comma 3. Let's check for continuity. For continuity, I have to talk about the uh, non-existence of jumps or kinks in the graph of the function. And I know that in this interval, whatever value from this interval I put, I would be getting a value, a finite defined value for fx. That means my function is continuous. That you have to write on your own. I'll repeat the line. You would have written that in the interval 2 comma 3, which is closed interval 2 comma 3, for every value of the interval, you get a unique value or a finite value of y. So the function is continuous on the interval 2 comma 3 that you can write on your own. Next, you would talk about the differentiability. For differentiability, let's start with differentiating it. So for differentiability, you need to find out f dash x. What is the differentiation? It becomes 1 by 2, x minus 2, raised to the power minus 1 by 2 upon solving. And it in turn becomes something like this. So that means you have under root now in the denominator. Had you put 2, if you needed to put 2 here, it would have been not defined. But you don't need to put 2 here because differentiability always talks about the open interval. So in the interval 2 comma 3, if I say, we would again be getting every value of 2 comma 3 gives me a finite value in f dash x. So that means even in 2 comma 3, it is what? It is differentiable, which I have written in short that you will explain yourself. So you will write, so the two conditions, so the two conditions of LMV are defined or are satisfied, not defined but satisfied, that is a better word. So the two conditions of LMV are satisfied, hence there exists, hence there exists, hence there exists what? Hence there exists C such that, now you know what to write, right? It is f dash c is equal to f of b minus f of a upon b minus a. That is done. Now what is f dash c? If you know fx, you can easily find out f dash x. And here only, you can easily find out f dash c, which is wherever x, just write c. That is the difference. What is f of b? f of b means you have to put 3 in f of x. Putting 3, 3 minus 2 is 1, under root is 1 f of a, f of a means put 2 in f of x, 2 minus 2 is 0, so it is 0. Upon b minus a, b minus a means 3 minus 2, which is 1. So it is 1 by 2, c minus 2 raised to the power 1 by 2 is equal to 1. Now again, it is easy to square both sides. So let's square both sides, it becomes 1 by 4, c minus 2 is equal to 1. Solve it to get the unique value of c c minus 2 is equal to 1 by 4 or c is equal to 9 by 4. But we were not asked the value of c. Remember the wording of the question. It says find a point. Point not only considers cons consists of the x coordinate but also the y coordinate. So the point would be what? The required point is nothing but c f c. Now once you have found out c, you need to find c f c which is the point as I told you. Now what is C? C is 9 by 4. What is FC? Wherever you have x, just put the value of C. So y is equal to x minus 2 under root. So my FC should be equal to 9 by 4 minus 2 under root. 
which is nothing but 1 by 4 under root, so it is 1 by 2. So the answer is CFC to the point which is 9 by 4 comma 1 by 2. This is the answer to this question number 2 based on LMV.